right what's happening so excuse the camera i've had to film this on my phone now i know i've filmed numerous um of these videos but there is one two three things that i don't mind spending money on and that i always like to do to my cars steering wheel gear knob and seats because they are the three main things that you're going to be using when you're driving the car period um so as you already know we've got the cheeky little skunk numero dos skunk two gear knob beautiful bit of kit and this steering wheel is just not doing it for me it's a little bit like driving a bus every now and then i'll catch my leg on the wheel when i'm like it's in vtech and shit um no but yeah I, we need to change the wheel and the wheel that i had in my ep3 beautiful so tegwa have actually hooked us up again so obviously we've gone to tegwa if you don't already shop with tegwa and you have a honda or bmw or any any literally check the website down in the description use the code j3 i'll put it on the screen now get a nice little bit of discount and you can get some nice bits like this so first things first we've got a hkb boss kit now if you don't already know about these boss kits they're multi-use kind of thing so you can use them on momo wheels nardi wheels they work with sparker they pretty much work with any wheel they don't you're laughing at your dicker so they pretty much work with any steering wheel so if you if you're getting a boss kit and it only works with a certain line of wheels um and in the future you might change it just get a hkb one because you can just put any wheel on it so we've got that and then we've also got er a look the fuck hold on dad come hither so we have oh, you can't be a sick wheel no you can't it's the only thing you touch got more steering wheels than ford you have oh, oh. that was hot Oh, it was. Blue stitching look to match. Look at that. L Civic. Mm. Yeah, it's good, that, isn't it? it? Well, I don't know how they do it for the money. Even do I. So, yeah, we've got a blue Nardi personal steering wheel. So, same exact one that I had in my EP3, except this one's got blue stitching and the blue horn button, wherever that is, in there. Uh, so, we're going to be fitting that and then we're going to go and do a little test run uh, and see kind of like the difference in feel and shit. Hmm. Very nice. Does he go around corners quicker with that? Obviously. Oh. I want to bought it. All oh, right. But you can you can see it's quite a lot smaller than the standard wheel. This is a 350 millimeter wheel. This fucking guy's gonna come and chat shit to us again. Go on then, take your phone quick then. Yeah, right. Sorry. Uh, yeah, this is a 350 mil wheel. I was gonna go for the I was gonna go for the 330, but they just feel a little bit too small in the car. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, disconnect the battery, take the original wheel off, take the airbag out. And we're going to uh, install this. Oh, this thing's gorgeous, man. That's, that is peng. Yes. Ah. Trusty old outfits. I don't know how I haven't lost any tool. Oh, never mind. I have. <laughs> All right, let's get the battery off. Always disconnect your battery um, when working with anything to do with airbags because you don't want it blowing up and literally dislocating your jaw. Um, good thing is with this boss kit it actually comes with a resistor for the airbag so you don't get an airbag light on no lights on your dashboard so it's just worth spending that extra little bit of money on a good boss kit so you uh, don't have a blackpool illuminations dashboard because it's fucking shit in it take the battery off which is in the uh boot uh, in the bonnet under the bonnet and then um yeah we're gonna get a sick wheel on right before we do crack on i'm gonna bust myself open some y food if you haven't heard of y food these are meal replacements i've been taking these for nearly a month now um and the, the the results have been amazing so i have one of these in the morning one of these when i finish work and i'll have one meal a day uh near the end of the day so all you've got to do is bust it open this is uh, alpine chocolate very nice it's something banana also which is spot on it's like mcdonald's milkshakes that's what it tastes like um so yeah you want to get your y food shaker cup three scoops one two three literally it tells you on the side add water up to that line and give it a good shake and you're good to go so yeah if you do want to get some y food um, these do help you lose weight, they're, they're healthy for you, you've got all your protein, all your calories, all your fibres in there. Um, if you do want to grab some, 
hit the link in the description, use my code and you can get some Y food and jump on board. So yeah, let's crack on. Okay, so because Honda are the best brand ever, you don't have to like puncture your steering wheel. You don't have to like break anything to actually get to the bolts. You just get a flathead in it. You don't even need a flathead, boys. What do you mean? Pull that off. You've got a T30, I'm going to guess there. Take that one off. Do the same on the other side. And that's how you get your airbag off. Really, really simple stuff. I did one on a Ford and <clears throat> it nearly beat me. Like we had to punch holes in the steering wheel to get to the bolts. There were like these stupid release clips that you couldn't see. It was a fucking joke. Just talking to the boys. Don't worry about me, dad. How are you doing anyway? Right, um, so yeah, let me guess. It's gonna be a T Thotte. T Thotte. Beautiful. Right, let's get that bad boy out. Really, dog? Out of the, the nice grass that you've got there, the pavement that's probably nice and warm, you sit on me tools. Cookie, you are the biggest tool in that box. Right, so now your airbag should nicely pop out. Disconnect the, um, it's this big main yellow one, disconnect everything that needs to be disconnected and uh, you're good to go simple as that okay once that's all done obviously this is for your horn here but there will be something else to connect it to uh you've got your hub nut here you literally just want to break that it might be a bit tight because it's probably never ever been off break that pull your um wheel off just make sure you don't pull your... i'll show you in a minute <laughs> right, if in doubt, get the hammer out. Bloody hell. There she goes. Right, now you can take your hub. Second piss or what? What I was saying is, Keep your nut on until the last minute. Uh, so you, when you're smacking your wheel, it doesn't bust you in the nose and break your jaw or something. Um, but yeah, now the wheel's cracked, you can remove it. Right, keep that. Right, so this is your boss kit. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute, but uh, as you can see, it comes with all the electrical bits to resist any lights coming up on your dash. So for your horn, airbag, etc., etc. So you don't need to worry about that. All right, so I did skip this part because there's 1,001 videos online about how to fit a steering wheel boss kit, but it's dead self-explanatory if you get the HKB one. This extension goes into your horn. There's a little hole in the boss kit to feed that through. The other one just blanks off your airbag. Um, just resist your airbag so we're going to uh, put the wheel on the kit does come with screws all included uh, you literally just line your wheel up put it on and you uh, you're good to go it's the easiest thing ever changing the steering wheel just make sure you are disconnecting your battery because i am not liable if you catch an airbag to the jaw so uh, yeah i'm going to put the wheel on show you what it looks like then we're going to go for a drive and uh, just enjoy the car a little bit because obviously it's on coilovers now as well so this is going to be a little pov drive uh, on top of the uh, steering wheel install so yeah i'm looking forward to getting this on because i'm not a fan of the uh, oem honda wheels they are a bit boaty and a bit big and this one the lever's kind of unstuck from the wood behind it so you can like twist it yeah uh, but this is a gorgeous bit of kit Okay, so they're all in. Now, quick thing to note, I haven't tightened these up fully. Treat this as a wheel, um, like a, a wheel when you're taking your wheel on and off. You want to go diagonal, like opposite each other. So it's just, if you start there, you want to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, just so you don't cross anything or, or it, yeah, just do that, okay? Can't give you an explanation, just fucking do it, all right? Okay, so if you've done it how I've done it and you've done it correctly, um, it should look like this. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, what a dirty bit of equipment that is. Right, and if you've done it the way I've done it, you should not have any lights whatsoever on your dashboard. I, yeah, I nearly, uh, 
Oh, we're going to leave that in to be fair, that and go off. But yeah, that just takes a second to read. Uh, but yeah, the, as you can see, no lights on the dashboard. Handbrake, that's just a handbrake light. Um, and you are good to go. That looks so sick. It's unbelievable. Right, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm not going to drive the car today. I'm going to take my Audi out later. Yeah, so I'm not going to drive the car until I've got my GoPro back because uh, I want to get my first experience uh, properly giving this car a good go on a back road and stuff. So uh, yeah, I won't use this car tonight. Don't worry, I'll take the Audi and I'll get my first experience tomorrow when I've got my GoPro back and we can go out and film a nice like B-Road bashing. We'll go up to Matlock or something. So yeah. All right, so we're back on the main cam. It's the next day now. Um, I didn't I've actually already edited the first part of this video, I didn't realise how long it'll actually be, so what I'll do is I'll do a separate POV driving video, but these have just arrived today and I want to give a big, big thank you to, how do you pronounce that? I just want to give a big thank you to Bossella, I think I'm pronouncing that right, they have hooked me up with some um, sick bulbs for the uh, for the EJ6 and the MX5 as well, these things are pretty uh, pretty bad boy bit of kit, um, we're just customising the um, protectors for the for the light lenses to fit the new, obviously these are a lot bigger, they've got the cooling fan on the back. Um, these actually go four different colours as well, you can get them to uh, change colours and stuff, which is pretty mad. Um, so yeah, we'll just remove the old bulbs, uh, putting the new ones in, and um, yeah, then we'll show you what they look like. I'll, I'll probably have to come back out at night to show you, but yeah, these are a uh, pretty mad bit of kit. Obviously I'll leave all links down in the description if you guys want to go ahead and grab your pair, a pair of these. Um, yeah, I'll show you what they look like when we've got them in. Okay, so I know you can't really see much. Um, it's pretty late at night. I just took the car out driving, testing out the new bulbs and stuff. First things first, no one flashes at you on the road. Uh, so these are road legal bulbs. Um, and they're fucking sick. Like, let me show you what they're about. So I'll show you from inside the car, then I'll show you outside. So if you just turn them on, as you can see, the beam pattern is like perfect. It lights up the whole road all the way over there, like the whole shebang. Okay, pretty sick, absolutely perfect. Let me show you what they look like on the outside. So they're literally perfect. Yeah, they look they look really bright on camera, but in person, they're, they're like just right, as you can see. So, if you turn your lights on and off, so we'll go off and then back on, as you can see, they're like, yellow and white so they're like in between okay not a big fan of that setting but this one looks so jdm and so sick if you turn them off and on again they go <laughs> they go full orange and they look so good just driving around like this but like, look at them boys <laughs> they look sick <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of them bulbs. I'll be definitely running these in all my cars from now on. Like I said, they have sent me some for the MX-5 as well. So big, big thank you to them. If you do want to get yourself a set of these bulbs, let me jump back in the car. Yeah, if you do want to get yourself a set of these bulbs, I will leave the link in the description to their website. Go check it out, go uh, find them for your car uh, and get on these because they are seriously sick. Like very, very, very good bulbs. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to end this video here. Next video, we'll go out in the Civic. As you can see, the new wheel is on. You can't really see actually, but the new wheel is on and it is literally the most comfortable steering wheel I've ever driven with in my life. It's, it's quite a lot thicker than you'd expect. So it's really, really nice to grip. But yeah, big thank you to Tegwa for um, sourcing this for me. Huge shout out to them. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. If you did enjoy it, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace.